Well, welcome back. I'm uh, SX64 man, and this is the third system I wanted to show you folks uh, while I test my new uh, recording and streaming system here. Uh, so I ask your indulgence, and I figured a good way to do it would be to uh, do short videos on the systems that I've built. Uh, this is a 469 board, uh, 60 clone 469. So it's got the larger PLA. Uh, this particular one also has a regular arm SID, so it's a mono board, but it's a PAL system, uh, and it has a really, really nice uh, modulator. I believe it was designed by Matt Barzak, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll try to find a link for that. I think that's one of the ones that's a little tougher to find, designs. But it uh, might be the one that has the cleanest video of all of them so far that I've tried. Uh, really, yeah, I'm pretty happy uh, with it. Also has a very small footprint. Um, and one of the things I've started to do is I've built and accumulated these systems is just started keeping a small uh, record, kind of a book, of what's in what so I can keep track of the systems and how good the keyboard is which keys don't respond as well as others if they if the keyboards have been cleaned or what kind of ICs are on, on there what kind of replacement uh, type of boards are in there so basically um, I find this very helpful because when you have you know 10 systems or so it's hard to keep track of what's in what and sometimes you want to try something in another system so that is um, uh, the third the, the third 60 clone system and I'm going to pause the video and bring you the fourth and this is my last uh, 60 clone uh, machine although this is actually a Vicky 20 <laughs> so technically it's not a 60 clone it's not a 64 based machine it's the um, last revision of the Vic 20 or the Vic 20 CR the cost reduced model uh, this one does have one one mod it's um, been converted to S video so I actually uh, built this uh, special adapter here cable and it's also a PAL system um, so it's, it's a nice nice system to play around with and um, I do find it interesting that sometimes the, the video on these CR systems is not quite as as good as the the first uh, couple revisions of the Vic 20, um, the ones you know with a big giant heat sink, I think have slightly better video than the CR version for some reason. Uh, one interesting thing about this is this has the uh, Sven Peterson multi kernel for the Vic 20, so it's got the board there and uh, actually have uh, eight kernels in here uh, to play around with. Um, so on this system, um, basically the different versions of the kernels are NTSC and PAL VIC-20 kernels and uh, Jiffy DOS in both modes. Um, and I believe there's some diagnostics that I, I threw in there as well. Uh, that um, so that's basically uh, the story with this machine um, other than that it's a typical CR board the 6560s the NTSC version of the VIC chip is getting harder and harder to find and uh, but the PALS 6561 are a little bit more ra readily available so that's why I opted to go with uh, the PAL system for this VIC-20. Uh, it is definitely in need of a case as you can see <laughs> and uh, the issue is when I uh, buy new VIC-20s that are broken 
I wind up fixing them and then I still don't have a case <laughs> so uh, but uh, s speaking of uh, I believe Plexi Laser DE did do one of those transparent cases for the Vicky 20 so I believe there is at least that uh, uh, third-party newer option available uh, uh, of those excellent cases they are really really sharp Okay, so that, I think, uh, covers uh, all the 60 clones uh, in these three videos. And I'll po post some more videos on other interesting systems I might find.